Hi, and welcome to another episode of Mr. Puzzle. Today we will have a look at the puzzle in this box here. And this is called the Double Komiki Puzzle. Komiki, I'm not sure if I pronounce it right, probably not, but Komiki is a Japanese word and it means to join wood together. And this can be puzzle boxes or any kind of wood puzzles that are assembled out of many parts. The puzzle here I got from The Art of Play. The Art of Play is a um, is a web store and the website is artofplay.com. I will put you also the link in the description where you can find it and also where you can buy this puzzle. And they sent me this puzzle and um, they usually sell a lot of um, high quality stuff. So they, they specialized in in um, selling playing cards but also they say sell puzzles and some amusement toys so and all of this stuff is very high quality so all, uh, also this one and um, this one for example is made out of walnut wood and the parts are absolutely flawless you can already see some marks on some of them because I handled them uh, several times and some some of them fall down and therefore you see some small marks and scratches but if you receive them you can already see it here it's very well crafted the wood is very light and um, it is really really nice and really nice feeling um, to handle them so the puzzle contains 12 parts overall it comes in this box there's also a solution but of course we will not have a look at the solution I mean and um, the only hint you have is or I had was the picture from the website where the puzzle was completely shown. I will, uh, it looks like I show you right now here on the right side. So it's a puzzle that looks very complicated when it's assembled. And also it is kind of challenging to assemble it. But also at the same time it looks very nice because it has this kind of... Um, it's, a, it's a real eye-catcher due to the many parts and the very complex structure. It's a real eye-catcher. How to assemble it I will show you after the spoiler break. Okay, how to assemble this one? Well, first let's see how these parts look like. So as we see here, they look all similar. If we take them all out, we notice that three of them look different, which are these three here. And it seems they have an additional cutout. So these have these here have two cutouts. And this one here has two and another one here. So therefore, for now we put these aside and we start only with the with three of the ones here of the group with the two cutouts. So for these three we start building a shape. It looks like this over here and you will see in a minute why because when we start like this we can also attach to these three more of these wooden parts and it looks like this and What's also complicated on this one is not only the fact that it's that you need to about how to join these parts together, but also the handling is very difficult because usually we have only two hands, at least all people I know, and um, this can be already be a big challenge to handle this all or to keep it all together with only one hand while the other hand is needed for the assembly. So then. Next, we take the last three of the parts of the two cutouts and we will put them here inside in a way that we can put it together. But we need to take care not to assemble them completely and push them already here in this notch because first all of them need to be in place like this. So now they are still loose. 
And now I will try to join them here with the other parts by just slightly push it, pushing them down and connecting them here to the other parts. And when this is happened, as now, you can see it's not fully inside, but it's already connected. Now it's kind of stable. So I carefully push them down. Until the very end, as fast as far as I can go. Step by step. You also don't want to damage anything. And now we will handle the, the last three parts. And they are somehow different and you will now understand why they are different. If we put them together in the same way as the other parts before, you will end up in a shape that looks like this, also similar as before. But due to the additional cutouts, the profile gets more narrow. And now these three parts are able to fit inside here from the top. So this is what I try to do now. And it's not easy because you need to somehow increase the distance here between these parts because it's it fits very, or the, the, the fit is very tight. Therefore, I need some force here to do the assembly of the of the final parts, which I try to do now. So, here we go. They are inside, and now I can push them slowly until the they. Connect also down here with the other parts. And now it's completed. And you can see how, I mean, this looks just, just nice. You can put it on your desk and you can be sure everyone who comes into your office will ask you, what the hell is that? <laughs> so um, also you can hear the nice quality of the wood. It's very light wood, walnut wood. And um, it feels very, it's its very soft at the same time. So it's its an absolutely fantastic puzzle in a fantastic quality. And um, as I mentioned, artofplay.com uh, art is the store where you can buy it. I put the link in the description. And um, regarding the difficulty, it's not, in the beginning you're a little bit confused when you take out the first parts, but afterwards I think it is not too difficult to do. I would give it a three out of, a maximum of five it took me about maybe 30 minutes to assemble it at the first time and um yeah if you like this episode give me a like or subscribe to my channel and also to my facebook channel if you have any questions complaints or anything else just ask me in the comments i will of course read them and respond to them and um until next time keep on puzzling <laughs>